Hey friends, today we are hanging out in New York City. I traveled all the way from Florida to New York so that I can attend this year's New York Comic Con and I kind of want to have a touristy day. I want to do the things that I never got the chance to do before like visit the Statue of Liberty, maybe hit up Times Square, try some of the amazing food that they have here and just have a beautiful New York kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. This is my view from my hotel. I'm currently staying in Weehawken and I'm here with Roosevelt's because their HQ is in Hoboken, but we plan on heading over to the city soon and I'm just gonna, you know, do all the things, like I said, that I never got the chance to do before. Growing up in Scranton, Pennsylvania, I have been out to New York City, but I've never really experienced anything. I've only ever drove to the city just so I can say that I went to the city. You know, walked around Times Square a little bit, hopped back in my car, drove away. So I probably only spent like two hours in the city itself, and I've never done any of the big like touristy things. And I figured this would be a good trip to do it because then I can bring you guys along with me. Coming from probably the most touristy place on the planet Earth, Walt Disney World, I can tell you planning is crucial, especially when you visit like big cities like this. But unfortunately, I did none of that. I didn't plan anything out. It's kind of just a spur of the moment and uh, go wherever the wind takes me. And let me tell you something, the wind is really taking me places today. It is extremely cold out and a little bit rainy and definitely very windy out and I don't have any pants. Like I don't, I live in Florida. I wear Roosevelt shirts and shorts and that's what I wear every single day. So I'm probably gonna have to find a place to get something else to wear. Maybe a coat or a pair of pants or something because it is <laughs> not my climate. <laughs> I'm basically gonna use Uber just to get around and go to all the places I wanna go to. And someone told me since I'm over here in Weehawken, uh, if I wanted to visit the Statue of Liberty, I should probably go to Liberty State Park, which is on this side, instead of going into the city. So I'm just gonna type in Statue of Liberty and uh, see if I can get an Uber right there. <laughs> I mean, I know I can't go up to the island, but to Liberty State Park, that's what I should type in, Liberty State Park. There we go, bada boom. $15.83, excellent. Well, we have made it to Liberty State Park and I made my first mistake because when I was Ubering, I actually just put in Liberty State Park and it dropped me off in the middle of nowhere. It dropped me off in the middle of the park and I learned that if you wanna to go to a certain destination to type in the physical address instead of the name and you'll get to where you have to be. But we made it and it's kind of beautiful here. As soon as I got out of the Uber, I noticed this amazing empty sky September 11th memorial. And just take a look at this. Isn't this like amazing? It actually gives me chills. It's uh, these two walls and that is the empty skyline of where the World Trade Center, the two towers would have been. And this is really just monumental, like really is giving me chills and it has the names of the people who fell victim. And this is just something special. Really, really such an honor to be able to stand here and witness this and see it in person. I've also just realized I made another mistake and I left my phone in my Uber. I don't have my phone on me. This is heartbreaking right now. I don't even, I'm kind of, I'm kind of panicking right now. I, you know, got out of the car and I seen this memorial and it's literally as soon as you walked out of the, the Uber and it was just so amazing that I didn't even realize it. Now I'm, I'm literally panicking. I don't know what to do. They drop you off right here and it's literally right here and I just got out, looked and then all of a sudden I went to go take a picture and my phone was gone. I've already ran into one person I said, hey, can I use your phone? And they let me use their phone so I can call my phone, but he didn't, he didn't pick up. So I'm just gonna wait here and see, maybe he'll come back, maybe. Okay, I asked somebody else to use their phone and I called it again and he picked it up. He picked it up and he said he is on a, a trip right now taking somebody to Clifton and he said he'll bring it back to me as long as I stand here and wait and he said it'll take about an hour and I told him I'd take care of him, give him an, an award, a reward. So, oh man, thank you, thank you. It's been 30 minutes and I'm just staring down this road hoping to see that car pull up. I'm just sitting here waiting. I don't want to leave the exact area he dropped me off because there'd be no way for him to contact me. And he said about an hour and I am freezing. I should have stopped and got a coat. Look at this. 
It's so cold. I feel so helpless. There's not even anyone around that I can ask to use their phone so that I can call my phone or call anybody I know. I mean, it's crazy how much we depend on cell phones these days, you know? I can be your hero, baby. Holy moly, I think that's him right there. I'm about to cry. This is amazing. Oh, I can't even believe it. That's him. That is him. Oh, <laughs> phew. Oh, dude. You're my hero, man. I was like, I'm starting to freeze. It was so cold. Man, dude. I felt so bad, man. Oh, I am so happy right now. There are amazing people in this world. He had no, I mean, I'm sure he had an obligation to bring back the phone, but he could have easily said he never found it. And also, he had somebody in the back of his car who actually picked up the phone. So that is two great people in the world. Also, three great people that let me use their phone to try to call them. It's amazing. It really is amazing. And now we're going to be able to continue our day and do the things that we wanted to do. Take a look at this view. We're about to hop on Miss Freedom and head on over to Ellis Island and to the Statue of Liberty. But look at New York right there and the Freedom Tower. It's so high up. You can't even see the top of it because the clouds are actually cutting it off. Oh, this is great. I feel like I feel like a hundred bucks right now. I feel amazing right now. I feel just fantastic it's 27 dollars to take the boat over to ellis island and to the statue of liberty and it runs consistently throughout the day and it's kind of an audio tour too so i'm very excited and it's empty in here like this is really crazy as i'm making my way over to get the tickets like i said it was 27 dollars it's empty. So this is why someone told me I would be better to come here than do it on New York side. And yeah, I believe it. That building inside there was amazing. And that was the Central Railroad of New Jersey terminal, which uh, it's kind of like a museum now, but that's not where you get the tickets. You get the tickets on the side. And I'm sorry, they were $24, but I'm all uh, ticketed up. Now we got to go through security and it's just like airport security. Kind of funny, but I'm not going to show you that because I don't think you could show security. You can't film security, you know? But now our ferry has arrived and it's time to hop aboard. The ferry takes you to both Ellis Island and the Statue of Liberty, and they have special tours at each one of them, but they're all sold out today, and I really want to do the Ellis Island one, so I might come back and do that. It's like a hard hat tour. It takes you into like some of the really amazing like 100-year-old buildings, and that seems like something I really would want to do and spend a day doing, so we might not go to Ellis Island and just go to the Statue of Liberty and then come back and do our own little exploration around Ellis Island itself. On the ferry itself, they have a little like food stand that sells hot dogs, coffee, muffins, and also some souvenirs. Look at this. You can buy uh, a little uh, rubber ducky Statue of Liberty. I got myself a little coffee, and I think we're going to head upstairs and uh, get ready to take off. Look at all of these life jackets up here. And I think we're going to sit outside, even though it is cold. You got to sit outside. Look at this. Look at this. Now that is beautiful, isn't it? Holy moly. That was a bee. And there's another bee on me now. Uh oh, a bee is on the camera. There's a bee on my shoulder. There's a bee on my camera. It's on my eye, it's in my glasses. I don't even know what's happening right now. Now it's on my hand, it's gone. It's gone, it just stung me in the butt. It was constructed on and here Ellis it Island. is, Ellis Island. By the beginning of the 20th Look century. Look at this. Thousands reach the island's shores every day. This is so crazy you being up there. Wow. You'll have the opportunity to learn much more about these immigrants and their experiences during your visit to... Don't get the hot cocoa. They know you have it. They'll attack you. Oh, look at... Oh. Just be very, very quiet. Okay. Here, take the hot cocoa, please. <laughs> but there she is. The Statue of Liberty. Wow, it's so amazing that I've never been here before. Like, you know, like such an iconic 
thing, or just history of the United States and a symbol. Honestly, it's basically the symbol of the United States, I feel like. This really is something remarkable to see in person. Like, you know, you've seen tons of pictures and videos, but it's totally different when you're staring right at it. We have made it over to the Statue of Liberty. I'm also looking out for anyone wearing shorts, and I think I'm the only person right now in New York that are wearing shorts on this day. I've been keeping my eyes peeled, and I don't see anyone else. I've lost my phone. I've been covered in bees. It was super cold, and it was all worth it. Just, just for a couple minutes of coming here, walking around, relaxing, checking out all the amazing like history and details. The audio tour is actually pretty good too. I've been listening to some of it, but it's hard. I don't want to put it right through there because at the same time, I want you guys to experience this for yourself. You know what I mean? By now, you should be directly in front of the statue near the panel, Liberty's Symbols. Look up and take in her size. She is 151 feet, or 46 meters, from the top of her torso to her feet. She weighs 280 tons, or 254 metric tons. That's equivalent to the weight of about 50 elephants. I did get my photos taken in front of the Statue of Liberty, and I ended up buying them because I have no idea why. But take a look, it's actually really fun. They gave you some props to use. This one looks really good. And I paid uh, $35 and plus I get them digitally. So I like that. All right, now that we've gotten our pictures and we were able to come and check out the Statue of Liberty, I think I'm gonna head and make my way into the city. And I'm gonna use the ferry uh, that's from here instead of a ferry that I took in New Jersey because that way it'll save me money. But if I did use the New Jersey one, I can go back and forth. Once I go to the city on this one, I can't come back unless I buy another ticket. But I mean, that's what I was planning on doing anyway. So technically, if you ever wanted to actually go to the city, you can always park your car at the uh, terminal in New Jersey, park there, come to the Statue of Liberty, and then take the ferry back on over to New York. Well, to New York, isn't that awesome? The only thing is getting back, so you'd have to buy another ticket on your way back, but I feel like this is a lot less stressful. Look at this, we're just gonna make our way right on over. I decided on getting a banana nut muffin, and I think, I've attracted a friend. Ah, look at that. Bees, birds, just a natural uh, animal whisperer. <laughs> This ferry boat compared to the one we got in New Jersey is three stories. Like there's three different levels on this boat. Well, more than that because there's a bottom level with the restrooms. And I like it. I like this one a little bit better. We're making our way into the city now. Here we come. Ooh, it's a helicopter. I decided on wearing my Coco Roosevelt shirt because it kind of reminds me of the city. Like when it's all lit up, look at this. Perfect. I don't know if I got any crumbs on there. I had a banana nut muffin or not. Getting too close? We're coming up on the city now, and I think as soon as we get in there, I think we should get something to eat. I am starving. I am definitely starving. The boat is a rockin' here. The boat is a rockin'. Don't come a knockin', as they say. <laughs> Very funny, actually. I'm standing still though. <laughs> Oh boy. Thank you. And we made it. We are officially in the city. One of the restaurants I've always wanted to eat at was Peter Luger's Steakhouse. And they don't have any reservations. It's really hard to get in there. And since I'm in the city now, I think I'm just going to Uber there and see if they'll let me in. It's starting to rain too a little bit. Oh boy. I literally just got in Manhattan and now we're gonna get an Uber over to uh, Brooklyn because that is where uh, Peter Luger's is. And I'm so excited, like I said, this is one of the best steakhouses in the world. And it has always been a dream of mine. So fingers crossed that we're gonna be able to get in. If not, I'll even eat it to go. I'll eat it on the street. I'll eat it on the sidewalk. I don't care. And here it is. 
Peter Luger, established 1887. I am so excited. This is a cash only steakhouse and it's been known to be the best steakhouse in the country. I've seen several different list rankings of steakhouses and this is always in the top 10. Some of them at number one and I'm so excited. It's cash only too. I think they take debit cards now but they don't take any major credit cards and I'm just, I'm thrilled to be here. Looks like they're just switching over to dinner, so I was able to actually get a, a spot, a, a table for one, because they're not right into dinner service, but it's happening like any second now. So I really lucked out here. Let's take a look at the menu. You can see they have the Luger sizzling bacon, which is one of the things that I definitely need to try. It's $8.95 per slice, and then they have the steaks. We're going all in on the rib steak. It's $89.95. And then their Luger special German fried potatoes. See, I already have, like it's so funny when I come to a restaurant, like normally I have to look over the menu. I've been wanting to come here for so long. I already know everything I want to get. I am so excited. They have room for me. I'm going to be eating at my dream restaurant. This is the greatest day ever. This restaurant is known for its dry aged steaks and the sound of the sizzling steaks as they're bringing them out. I've seen a couple of them come out so far and I just keep on getting more excited. Starting off here is the Luger's bacon. Look at this, look at that char right there too. I love that. And then we've got the Peter Luger steakhouse sauce. Comes in a nice little gravy boat and the bread service. And I also got myself a little old fashioned. A little bit of everything. I've been excited to try this bacon for a very long time and today is the day. Look at this. Oh. Absolutely amazing. And I love my bla I love my bacon just like this. I could eat this whole bacon if it was just like black just like that. So good and I can't wait to try the bread too. The bread looks like a good assortment. Look at this. Take a look at this bread right here. I'm gonna break it apart so you can see the onion on the inside here. Look at that. Perfection right there. That bacon is so good. I'm actually thinking about getting another slice. Like I'm real, I mean it was good, but I don't want to get full because I have the steak coming and I got the amazing sides with it, but the bacon was so amazing. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Oh, and the broccoli, oh, no, and the potatoes. And the brown here. Oh my lanta! This is too good looking. Look at that. Very hot. Oh. Show the trick. How hot is it? Yeah. This may be the happiest day of my life. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I just keep staring at this food and honestly, it's like my dream meal. I mean, look at this broccoli. Look at this. Look at that. And then look at these German potatoes right here. I, I, it's all just so amazing. And I'm about to take my first bite and I'm pretty sure this is going to be the best steak I've ever had. Here we go, look at that. Absolutely amazing. Exactly what I thought it would be. Now we gotta try these potatoes. These potatoes, oh, I just wanna eat more of the steak though. And I'm gonna finish all that steak. I'm gonna eat every single bit of that steak. I guarantee it. None of it is going to waste. All about the potato business. No way. <laughs> The potatoes are just the perfect combination of soft and crunchy at the same time. And it's seasoned amazingly. I can't wait to get the one-two bite. You know, you gotta get a little potato, a little bit of steak, the one-two bite. 
the best thing about this steak though is you gotta just keep on cutting here and then soaking up all of this. Look at this. Get it all in there. Gotta get it all on there. That's how you do it. We haven't even tried the steak sauce yet, but like this doesn't even need sauce. It's got its own natural sauce to it, and I just love it. I just love it. One more. <laughs> One more. Now we gotta dive into this broccoli here. Let me just see if I can cut it with the fork. Steak, potatoes, and broccoli. Everything I love. You gotta be kidding me. All right, now we gotta get to this bone meat here. Look at back here. This is where it's at right here. Look at this. This is gonna be one of the best bites right here. If you guys weren't aware, I rank all the steaks in Disney World and this right here is like a, something on its own. This is the whole world, not the Disney world, the whole world, the whole entire world. My favorite steak. My favorite steak ever. And it, look at this, in existence, look at this. I am now going to start eating the steak from the bone, just like as if it's a bunch of ribs, because none of this meat is getting wasted. If you guys have ever seen Parks and Recreation, you know Ron Swanson always takes photos of his steaks and he puts it like in a little binder and I feel like the same way. I actually want to see if I can take the menu home. I wonder if they'll sell me the menu. Nothing but bone left. Look at this. I mean, I might get a little bit more meat off there. Maybe over here I have some meat too, but I think we did good here. I think I did good here. <laughs> Honestly, I have no room in me for any more food, but I don't know if I'll ever come back here again And I need to try the dessert. I have to and this being a German restaurant I'm pretty sure they have an epic apple strudel. So I think we're gonna go with that But let me tell you something the whole meal was everything I've ever dreamt of I'm not even kidding like I'm one of those people that look up restaurants and like being like best steakhouses in the world And this is always in the top like 10 and it was always a go-to for me and now I can say I finally did it I finally came here and every steak is gonna be downhill from here unless I mean unless there's some new competition then I'm gonna I'm gonna have to try it out oh look at that oh wait yep can't forget the chocolate look at this strudel right here and they give you a gigantic thing of whipped cream and then of course the chocolates Got to get the chocolates here, but I cannot wait to try this. We're going to dive right on in. It's very hot. Very hot, he said. We're going to do a little of this. Just like that. Oh. Here we go. Extraordinary apple strudel. That's all I'm saying. Look at that. I don't want to mess it up too much, but extraordinary. And the whipped cream, just as extraordinary. That was the best steak I've ever had in my whole entire life. The texture, the char, and the way that they literally just kind of sizzle everything. They, they literally like heat it up so fast i mean they cook the steak and then they throw it underneath the broiler on the last second and bring it out to your table just like with that sizzle you've seen you've seen how they did it and if you guys know me that is everything i'm all about and i think they do that to the potatoes they did it to the strudel they do it to everything they they literally broil everything and then send it out and it was the best ever now i think we're gonna head to times square <laughs> like i said keep the touristy things happening and uh Oh man, I'm gonna be dreaming about that steak for a long time. I really am. I'm so happy that I got to come here. I'm like so excited about it. And now we're making our way into Times Square. I honestly thought about going to Rockefeller, but I really did want to just go down and see the lights, the glitz and the glamour of Times Square, you know? The fanciness. You know, it's crazy because I think I was colder during the day than I am right now. Like, I think the weather is definitely changing up, probably by tomorrow, and I just picked a bad day to start, but 
I feel actually really comfortable. So this is Times Square. Look at it. Lots of light. That's all I'm thinking about. Lots and lots of lights. Wait, is this Times Square? I don't even know, actually. I'm not even I'm not 100%. I think it is, because they have the big sign right there. But I think a lot of places have big signs. Yes, I think I think this is Times Square. Yep, we knew where we were going. Look at that. I think I see the Disney store from here. I see Mickey hanging off the building there, but I don't know if it's open or not. It's very busy. <laughs> Looks like the whole world is gone and get itself in a big rush. Oh, I think it is open. Look at that. Just what I was looking for. Look at this. And it's the Halloween season too. You got uh, Statue of Liberty Mickey right here. This is really, really nifty. I'm so happy that we came in. Well, this is really cool. They have New York City Disney Spirit jerseys. I like that. Look at that. I wonder if they're cheaper than the ones that are actually in the park. They probably are. $74.99. They're the same price. Same price. They have a lot of New York City Mickey stuff here, though. And I think it's all really... It's really cool. I like it. But honestly, I don't think it's Disney Parks, though. That's one thing I noticed. I don't think it's Disney Parks. Yeah. So this is the same stuff that they have probably at, like, Walmart, the same company. It's a different... It's a different type, you know? They have a lot of other stuff here other than, like, I Love New York. They have, like, things from the parks and also classic Disney stuff. But this is just a little bit of what they have in this section. And they also have an upstairs area, too. But I don't think it's open at the moment. It looks like it's closed down. Like, they have a little rope up. But it looks really cool. Looks really nice. Upstairs magic. And then look at it going all the way up. That is so nifty. It was really cool to see the Disney store here in Times Square. I would definitely come back once the upstairs opens. I want to see and go up there. I'm sure it's just a bunch of other shirts, but I, I at least got to check that off. Ran into Mickey and Minnie. Look at that, see? It's the most magical place on earth. I love it. Oh, well, thank you guys. There, there you go. There you go. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> At first, I thought that was Mickey and Minnie and Minnie, but now, now I'm thinking about it. That was just Minnie, Minnie, and Minnie. There was just three Minnies right there. No Mickey. Huh. jump ropers were hysterical and they were very talented the one guy was jumping rope with just his body like it was I liked it this is some high-class entertainment here folks and I'm pretty sure I found Mickey Mouse not three minis but I found Mickey Mouse there's Mickey Mouse that's the one I was looking for and I like your hat too very nice very good thank you so much <laughs> It definitely wouldn't have been a successful day in Times Square if I didn't get to see Mickey and Minnie's. Min, Minnie's, mini, mini, mini. So we got one Mickey and three Minnie's. Would have really loved to be able to see the Lion King. I mean, honestly, if they were selling tickets right now, I'd probably just like be like, all right, let me in. I will buy a ticket, but I don't think they are. You know, I think there's something you have to buy ahead of time. Well, it's something you can walk up like a movie theater. But I don't mind exploring around. Oh wow, look at you can actually walk through here. This is kind of pretty. Things I never even knew. Didn't know any of this existed. Huh. What's really cool about The Lion King is most of the people that perform here I've seen already. Like, not here though i've seen them in walt disney world either during special shows in epcot or one time they actually came to the festival of lion king which was amazing so that was really awesome and i, I couldn't get a ticket the box office was closed already but something i really would like to do i'd like to see beetlejuice or i'd like to do the lion king or one of the other like really awesome broadways i've never done one never been to a broadway show in my life other than you know the stuff at walt disney world which is i mean it's pretty top notch too but it's not Broadway, New York, you know what I mean? As I start making my way up Times Square, I think I'm finding more and more Mickey and Minis. And I'm finding Elsa's, Sonic's, Knuckles, Captain America Mickey, lots of great stuff. One of the things that I think is actually really cool is there are some amazing photographers out here and they take photos for you and then sell them to you. And they have very expensive cameras, like 
I, I mean, I've been seeing them work, and like they've been taking some like beautiful shots, and they usually charge like ten dollars a picture. And I think I'm gonna do it. I think I, I, I want a fancy photo, you know, in Times Square. Look at this. I ended up actually doing it and I love it. These photos are fantastic and it only cost me $10. And I, I think it's so cool. Like I would have never been able to do that, especially being by myself. And I'm right on the street, right on Times Square. Very, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a $10 photo right there. That is a $10 photo. I came to Times Square today with $50 cash because I knew that some of the things I would want to do would cost like cash and I don't have any money left. I gave it all away. I gave it to the people that were taking photos of me and also like Mickey's and Minnie's. If you put them on camera, you got to give them money. You know what I mean? So like I'd be like, hey, <laughs> be on video and I took a picture and plus all the performers are performing. So if you're getting enjoyment out of it and you're actually taking something away from what they're doing, then you got to give a little back because I mean, it's, it's, it's entertainment, you know what I mean? And a dollar or two will do it, you know? That's all you need. Right around the corner, they have a really nice spot over here by the Playwright Tavern. Look at this. Very, very cool. Some good music. I like it. My kind of vibe. <laughs> Now it's time to actually leave Times Square and make our way over to Radio City Music Hall. And I want to go to 30 Rock, maybe to the top, the top of the rock, see the views of the city at night. I think that sounds like a lot of fun. I can actually see Radio City Music Hall from here. Oh wow, look at, I've always seen that sign before. Now I'm gonna walk up to it though. I really love how I'm just leisurely just going and discovering these places that I've never been to before. I've done like a little research, like I'll look it up and like see which direction it is, but I'm just walking my ways and Ubering everywhere. It really adds to the experience a lot. You can see Radio City Music Hall right there. May you be written in the book of life. And then over on this side, you can see The Tonight Show with starring Jimmy Fallon. And there's uh, 30 Rock all the way up. We're gonna see if we can go all the way up there. You know, I've met Jimmy Fallon before. I wonder if he remembers me. <laughs> Let's go knock on the door. See what's going on here. I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just gonna walk in. I don't know if you can do that or not. We'll see if the doors are open. Oh, they are open, look at that. Hey. Well, it looks like you can just walk in. Oh, there's a bunch of stores in here. Oh, it's like a shopping mall. Oh, I thought we were gonna walk into the Tonight Show. You know, if I was smart enough, I probably should have bought this New York City Pass because it already includes the thing I did this morning and I could have went to the top of the rock there and I would have done this too. So, I mean, I paid 25 for this. I'm not even sure how much the top of the rock is and this total is $129. I really done goofed. I should have really looked into buying that pass because now this one cost me, I think, $47? 40, like $47, yeah. So I spent like 47 and 24, so almost $70 when I could have paid $120 and would have gotten three more really cool things to do, but who cares? We're going to the top of the rock. Welcome to the top of the rock. Huh. I like it. Seems cool in here. Lots of cool. Oh, look at that. Look at that view of Radio City Music Hall there. This is nice. I'm also shocked that this is open so late. It's almost 10 o'clock at night. I think it closes at 11, so we might be the last of the groups going up, but I thought it would be closed by now. I guess uh, New York never sleeps. And we have made it to the uh, golden elevators. Looks like I have the golden ticket. Look at this, it's a golden elevator, but it's very dark in here. I don't like this. Top of the rock, and look at this, why do they have black walls in here? And cameras, oh, <gasps> what? I'm laying down. <laughs> this is so cool. 
<laughs> I didn't know this was gonna do this. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I gotta get up before those elevator doors open. Hi, uh, Seth, all the way out. Thank you. I was rushing to get up as fast as possible before that elevator door opened, but I'm pretty sure they knew I was laying down on the ground. It's okay, I've got no shame. But here we go. We get to look out now. Oh, wow. We're high up. Yeah. Look at this. This is so cool. Look at this. One thing I noticed is look how the moon is almost directly right above that. And it's so amazing. Well, I gotta say, it's pretty impressive up here. I mean, this isn't even the biggest building or the tallest building in New York, but the views are amazing and we're outdoors, so that's like an added benefit too. Can definitely hear that song about New York right now. Any one of those songs. I think there's a couple of songs about New York. They probably fit perfectly. I wonder if I keep my ticket to let me come back and see this during the day. I mean, I think I might. I might, I might do it. Well, wait a second. I should have bought the pass because I could have used it here again. Oh, I keep making mistakes. I can't, this trip's going to cost me a fortune. I think we can actually go down a little bit more too. I think there's... Oh, wait. Oh, we're going up? We're going up? No way. Huh. Holy moly. We were not up all the way. I had no idea. <laughs> well, you get to see Central Park. Wow. This is officially the top. <laughs> I had no idea. No idea. And you get to see the front too. This is really special. Wow. Look at that. That's so cool. I'm afraid of dropping my camera, but you're like with these plastic things and they have the little holes here. And I don't think if it, you dropped it, it could go anywhere. I think these are all blocked off. I'm pretty sure. I'm sure people try dropping things before. It's really hard to tell where our hotel is. I think it's over there somewhere across, uh, across the Hudson. But this is, this is really cool up here. I'm very, very excited that we did this. Makes me really feel like I'm on top of the world. <laughs> this is great. This is this is this has been a great day. I guess it's time to make our way back down. I wonder if the elevator on the way down does anything cool. Wow, oh, party's over. <laughs> and with that, I think we are done here today. What an epic journey. Like, I really, I'm really happy the way things turned out today. I thought it was going to be tragedy when I lost my phone or if I got stung by the bees, but uh, it ended up amazing. Hi. That's very nice. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, maybe I'll put out some more New York videos as I spend time here and uh, be making my way back down to Florida. So we'll see you next time. Bye.